Welcome back guys, map 2 with the best of 2, Envious lead 1-0 after their victory on Cash, Penta have to try and evil this, even this up and at least pull out a draw. Well, they'll be the only team not to pick up a point so far in the season, but we do have a slight roster change, Smith's out so we don't get to see the French Rambo on Dust 2, and Body from LDLC, he's going to be in place, so I'll sub to him just for this one game. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know Body, he normally plays in LDLC White. So, uh, I guess it's the old Platinum team for those who watch the SWC and saw Platinum beat NIP. So, uh, yeah, definitely, well, maybe not the most known player, but definitely a player who knows what he's doing. Yeah, that roster's actually pretty crazy that they've, like, been overlooked and a lot of people don't know who they are considering. Um, basically, I mean... You look at what they did at, at um, DreamHack Tours when they actually took Envious pretty deep. They played well against Titan. They beat themselves out of the BYOC, and yet ESWC, like you said, they have players who took maps off Nip. Yet no one really knows them as much about them. They're like they're they're in the tier two range, but they just don't get the recognition of most tier two teams. So, oh yeah, uh, it's kind of crazy. You know, it, yeah, well, it's partly because there's not that many tournaments for. I the guess French the lower scene, teams. Exactly, yeah, in France. exactly. They don't have a league that they attend or exactly. that type of thing. Yeah, the Danish, the Danish and Swedish teams here too. There's enough going on. You definitely see them all the time. Oh yeah, and uh, you know, if the life of a tier two team or a tier three team is the fact that if you don't make it all the way in a qualifier, nobody's gonna actually remember what you did. So you might have had, you know, a great run, you make it to the semifinals, and then you run into, let's say, the strongest tier two team out there who still has to qualify for tournaments. If you drop to them, that's just expected from everyone who's you know, just watching from an uh, from an outsider's point of view. So nobody's really going to pay attention to it unless you actually make it all the way through. So it's a really tough job to, to get that sort of kind of re recognition. But it's going to be fun to see how uh, Body does in this game. I mean, he's definitely a capable player. Otherwise, Envious wouldn't have taken taken him in as a standing here. Yeah, of course. And I, I'm not 100% I'm not sure, but I, I know there was talk about him standing in last week. I'm not sure if he ended up doing it or not. So this may not be the first time he's been in for Envious. I'm sure someone in chat would know that. I seem to remember him standing in for like Kiyoshima or someone like this last week. But again, I bet I had a crazy week, man. It's been nuts. <laughs> it's definitely possible that he's uh, been standing in for them before because obviously he knows the, knows the guys on, uh, on Envious. It's a really fast breakout from Penta. They'll send two all the way into the tunnels. 
Head over toward mid, try and get some presence. Happy's already up on catwalk at the stairs, though. Tabson, they looked like they were going to try and do some initial damage out toward long A, and there was a double stack there from Envious off spawn. But they don't head that direction. They're actually going to open up the short angles and try and use these pistols in proximity as Happy waits. He might get the draw here. He might not. He does a lot of damage, but the second player comes around, and he's overwhelmed and can't land the kill. So damage dealt to Tabson down to 4 HP, but kill goes the way of Penta. And Struggs, he just waits for that smoke to deploy on long A. Has to get over by body. The stand-in, he's already making his case down. Tapson, he's out of it. Again, he was on low HP. But body hasn't been spotted up, and he's going to find another. Another one shot inside Stabby's head, and he just sits back, tries to wait from elevator, and he gets a third. Body's doing all the work right now. And Smith's, I'm afraid you're being outclassed right now by the man who's representing you in this matchup. And another, that's four, and MBK, he'll close it out. What a pistol round from body. Yeah, kind of just making his imprint on the game right away, so I'm assuming there's going to be a couple of HLTV threads saying, you know, minus Smith's plus body in a couple of minutes. But yeah, definitely a good start, and that's going to kick off any nerves he might have going into this. Yeah, that's pretty yeah. crazy. That's like, you bring in a stand-in and usually you go like, oh, this... You know, how's this going to go for us? He's going to be the bottom feeder. Yeah, you know. exactly. It's hard to incorporate him in. Or, you know, how quickly is he going to get up to speed? Well, pretty damn quick. Yeah, no doubt. Uh, but, I mean, I want to give Penta credit for what they were doing there. That was actually a really cool take on a, a bit of a different A split. Because you had, you know, you saw the standard smoke going off for, uh, I guess, a B split. That was put down by Penta, but they also smoked off B slow, which allowed for Crystal to kind of just rush through the spawn and catch the rotations that have already been made towards the A bomb site after Happy went down on short. So that was just like a really, uh, it was a creative way of trying to take that A bomb site. And I think it would have been successful hadn't it been for Body just going completely mental. So a cool idea and fairly okay execution, but you know, there's not, you can't really account for one of the envious players just grabbing four quick headshots. Happy again, gonna try and go for this catwalk peak. Jumps up, gets information, realizes they're all lower. Falls back accordingly. No sense taking a fight, he's got no place being in. Interesting that Kiyoshima, he stayed on the 5-7 as is Happy, so watch for very early ops out from Envious. This is an aggressive save. Or second round by, I guess you could call it. It's not really a save just for those two players in particular. But the MP9, that's going to build up money right there for Shocks. He picks up $1,200. MBK, though, he'll find Crystal. There is one kill for Trouble. He's making another one for Stavi. He's going to pop back out. Gets a second with that Tech 9. So at least does damage. But again, they didn't invest a whole lot on Envious' side. Oh, uh, they didn't. But still, three kills for Penta. That's... That's okay. Uh, obviously, they would have liked to get the, the bomb plant done with the investment that they put into it with going armors and, and tech nines. But still, you know, three kills, better than nothing. But it's not going to affect Envious in the in the grand scheme of things. You could see Shoxy, Body, and Happy all on, all on Colts, and Kia's happy to just stick, ar stick around with this uh, MP9 for now. Happy third round in a row. Immediately onto the corner at Catwalk. Trouble, he's the first to come around and take the peek and realizes it was an unwelcome fight. Thompson, he didn't learn his lesson from his teammates' mistakes. He makes the same. And Stavi's now dropping as well. Struggles before that, so it's all left to Crystal. And he's only got the Glock. In fact, he no longer has a head, so we hope he likes that Glock, because it's all he's got. It's the last thing he ever saw. But, yeah, first Byron going to come out, and we're most likely going to see a glass cannon op on Crystal. I would be surprised if that was not what he went for, but yeah, there we go. So, kind of similar tune to the game as we saw on Cash. So, early op out on on Penta, and again, yeah, they have to make it work. And on Dust 2, Crystal is one of those operas who can make a lot of things happen for them. If he's feeling it, stuff is definitely going to be tough to deal with for Envy. Smoke's going either way. The unfortunate part is you can't pick Pit, despite that that bounce smoke does go a little bit deep inside the B site. Happy again, he's playing the catwalk, so standard old, I would say old school, but really standard post-spawn default positioning right now from Envious. Not going for that three push up A, not rotating out late. They're definitely putting presence on catwalk early in the round. 
Yeah, and I guess they kind of just fell back to a more of a default positioning, I guess, except for Kyoshima, because of uh, Shakshi's death early on in the round. He's not intimidated whatsoever, he'll take down taps and, and now he smokes himself off cleverly to let him fall back onto the ramp, gives himself a little bit more space. Now bodies come over for this support play, and a flash inside that smoke from Happy, that blinds up Troubly so they can't round the corner further, and as a result, Body's gonna find two. Happy, he doesn't even need to come back around the corner because Kiyoshima's on the flank with the SMG. And it's four for Envious, zero for Penta. Yeah, and uh, Penta did the classic thing of trying to push up short and kind of getting stuck. So, by that tiny box up on short, they kind of just get stuck, everyone there, and if they don't get the enter pack in a position like that, you're not going anywhere, barring some crazy shots. So, you know, classic mistake from Penta, but not really much they could have done there. Shots come out, Kiyoshima on the repeat, catches Troubly, who overcommitted, he was well and truly outside the doorway, nowhere to go. And either way, they had a crossfire set up for the trade. Shox, he now fires through. Stavi, he walks into the bullets as well, so they're both down and out, and that leaves just Shrugs, who's on 17 HP, still trying to do a little bit of damage. Is happy. He's going to wait. Shox eventually does get the hat trick in the round, and that leaves only Crystal, who's inside the B site peculiarly enough, but question remains whether or not he'll get any damage dealt into the corner because Shox is on the flank, and that's a 4K for him. Yeah, a nice round of stat padding for Shoxy right there. 7-0, by the way, for body. That's a pretty good stat to start out on a stand-in game. Yeah, I mean, the goal has to be to not die the entire game, right? I would be damn impressed. I would almost TK uh. him at the end just to ruin it for him. <laughs> what a teammate. I'm the best. I'm the guy you definitely do not want on your team. <laughs> Alright, so Happy's still going aggressive on short here, even though he doesn't get a boost, and he's going to be able to find Stavros, so... Whenever Penta try to get some quick aggression going on towards that catwalk area, they've just been completely shut down by Happy. But you know, commentators curse and whatnot, tabs and just mows down Happy while running. So that opens up catwalk for a tiny bit, but Body's already made a rotation, so he's going to be able to, to hold them off for at least a bit here. Oh, Mr. On that nade. That's unfortunate. Troubly tried to put it around the corner. It bounced off his teammate, fell right back. So look at Troubly. That's self damage, that nade. 45 HP left. And MBK, he's going to hold the upper side of mid. They might get through the doors. They won't get a whole lot further until Troubly finally trades it, but they lose two men in the process. Bomb still will go down. It'll be a two on two retake. Kiyoshima. And Body. Who's a little bit ahead of his teammate, so he's going to have to hold station. Allow Kiyoshima to get inside the tunnels. And then they'll work together. Flash comes over. Body dodges it perfectly. He catches taps and very aggressive play from Penta post plant to try and take that fight. And unfortunately, this leaves Trouble in a one on two. Tries to do massive damage out to Body. Gets him down into the red HP, but can't close it out. And Kiyoshima, as a result, he pushes forward. Headshot. And it's going to be a defuse. And Body, 20 HP, but he's keeping it up, man. He hasn't died yet. He's got in infinite, yeah, infinite KD. I guess that's not too bad. But yeah, right now, just a solid retake. Obviously dodging that flash when Penta went aggressive. That's, couldn't have hoped for anything better. But I think, still think it's the right move from Penta there. If they can, uh, well, shut down one of the entrances towards the B-bomb site, then that's going to make it so much easier to play that retake. So definitely the right decision to, to go for it. Just unfortunate that, that body doesn't get caught out by the flash. Talks aggressive this time. That flash goes past him, and that's exactly why he uses that position. Thank you very much for the AK. Doesn't even need to reload it because not a bullet fired against him. Happy, he'll fire just through the edge of the doorway. That takes down Strugs. Bombs dropped in the middle of the door, so that smoke that goes out might give them a chance to re-grab that for Penta, but they're going to be quite cautious about doing it. Stavi eventually does. Meanwhile, though, they need to get around the corner at Quad onto the boxes. They could go for a cat plant, but... Need to be careful not to lose that battle. In fact, the bomb's not even gone. Stabby got separated from them. He had a chance to go up catwalk and join them after picking that up from double doors. Instead, he lurks toward the B tunnels all by his lonesome. And they pretty much have to win these battles and either let him come to them or vice versa because right now they're split entirely. And it's a two on four. And Stabby, that's a desperate play. Walks into the fire. There's 40 seconds left and tries to take the fight. I have no reason in my mind why he should have done that. And either, either way, Body's going to close it out. So it's... uh. 
nine and zero now for Body. Yeah, and uh, I think the main reason for Severus not crossing over is the fact that Happy definitely had vision because the smoke that went down in mid was on top of the big box, so it didn't actually cover the bomb or anything like that. So the second that Happy sees the bomb is picked up, he knows that it's gone towards lower. Because he's going to see if it jumps towards short or top mid, towards long, all that kind of stuff. So Severus is kind of forced in that corner, and that's why it's surprising that the two other members from Penta actually continue with that aggression onto Catwalk. Because there was no way they're actually going to get the bomb with them at that point. Either way, Body does find Crystal. Starts things off well and happy with the no scope on the drop, so that controls the secondary pressure from Catwalk, allowing things to work in Envious' favor big time, because now they can still control the peak from long. Bomb's still going to try and get down inside the smoke, but the nades come over. Unfortunately, the first one lands on Elevator, and either way, it's Happy's that still does all the damage required. As Struggs goes down, and Shocks spots him out at Goose through the smoke. They'll get another defuse, and Envious, they'll continue with a Goose Egg, but unfortunately, the only player they lost was Body, and unfortunately, that means... His undefeated scoreline goes to 10-1. and one. Yeah. Well, I guess the positive thing for Penta right now is the fact that they have, at some point in the game, killed every Envious player. But that's that's about it. That's about as positive as you can go at this point. Struggs is really struggling here. Just, like, yet to break... Well, you know, break onto the scoreboard here. Sitting at zero frags. And they haven't really gotten onto the site properly. I think that was actually the closest thing they've gotten to. And, uh, well, that doesn't really bode well for you if you're Penta. Kyoshima waiting at car. And Envious, I mean, it's pretty obvious why they picked us, too. It's interesting because Smith is the highlight. I wouldn't say the highlight, but one of the players I definitely you can feel think secure stands about. out. Yeah, he always stands out on this map, just the way he changes up his angle so much with the ops, so... It's cool to see Body coming in and doing really well in a different position using the rifle instead. So this is pretty cool from Happy. He's back toward passive play on Catwalk. But Penta, they're so insecure about going up there now. We saw them trying to get up the stairs really early at the start of the match. They haven't done it since. Uh, yeah, they've been shut down by, by the Happy wall really every single time. And if Happy's not landing shots, he's buying enough time for Body to rotate over and give him time to place some good shots onto them. And well, this time they managed to grab Shock, so this could create some openings here. Yo, though, he does come right back to Trouble and Body sliding out. He just, again, has to control that angle. It's all in his favor. As Kiyoshima pops back out, they get that trade as well. So it's all left to Crystal. One on three. And the op goes for an interesting no-scope. Not really a high probability of landing that shot. And therefore, Envious again. I mean, this is looking... We said at the start of the entire series that this was going to be a relatively quick matchup, we thought. Cash was pretty interesting. I'll say Penta. I can understand now why they picked it, but this is uh, this is not working at all in their favor. Haven't really found any map control. Haven't opened much up at all. In fact, bomb plants haven't been big and hard to come by for them. So happy he'll open it up again. Third man across. He takes the early peek and catches one and drop. Yeah, and the the, the destruction from Envy just continues. Doesn't really matter what kind of setups they do, and they've had about four different setups on their CT side so far. Penta just have no idea of what's going on. So they finally get out in submit, but they've already t lost two men, and Shoxy's not giving up. He's still going on the aggressive. Oh, is that for real? It's for real. And Shox, he'll slide back out, takes down Troubly as well. Just leaves Stabby. Kyoshima just has to watch this bomb. There's really nothing he can do. That nade goes through. They time it well, and they know he's there now. Because Kyoshima spotted him crossing over, and that's going to be double digits in just as many rounds. Yeah. But it just seems to be like one of those games for, for Penta right there. You can see Crystal somehow making it through the flashes that Chachi throws, but still not seeing where the flashes are coming out from. Just kind of steps into Chachi's crosshair there. And you don't have to make it easier for Shoxy to, to kill you. I mean, he's already good enough at the game to make that happen. Savvy so gets body. Does let them get out long this time, which they haven't actually ever controlled yet in this match. This is the first time they'll try and take a site with long control as well as a push-up cat. So this might work more in their favor. It forces Kiyoshima back down inside the CT spawn. He does catch the lurking crystal, but they haven't crossed over yet. 
They don't have any high vision right now on Envious' side, but the gap in the smoke, it doesn't even matter. They'll just spam through, and Kiyoshima, he finds taps, and MBK gets caught lurking up mid, trying to go for the flank. So it still gives the man advantage to Penta. Bomb does go down, but they're going to play for this retake, and Kiyoshima, he's already found trouble. They're in a position right now with that smoke out that they could boost on Elevator as well. But interestingly enough, Kiyoshima's, or rather Shocks, excuse me, has walked all the way up the ramp and not gotten spotted until just now from Stavi, but this gives them the full advantage. Kiyoshima, he has to fight himself out of a decent crossfire, and the positions definitely favor right now on Penta. Has isolated one, has to hit the shot, does so, and now he's got this in his hands, but he has to hold this to Fuse, and it's all up to Strugs to come around the corner. It's still being helped by Kiyoshima, and he gets it! How do they allow that to happen? That's their best chance, and they stay with zero rounds. That's absolutely almost pathetic at this point. <laughs> and I was about to give credit to Severus for being so patient because he said that Shaxx was able to get up onto A slope with you know not being spotted at all, and that was because Severus was playing so patiently that he knew that all he had to do was wait for someone to get on the bomb, and that's when he has to do something. And he did that t takes up Shaxx the second he presses E on that bomb, right? But then he gets too aggressive and starts re-peaking Kyo several times, and that just kind of killed everything for them because there's no way probably he's going to be able to do anything for Catwalk with that little HP. That's insane. That's insane. Yeah. I mean, the fact that he even walked up the ramp the first time unsighted, considering it was a two-on-one against the player on Cat without that peak. But, I mean, if Penta was doing everything right up until it was only Kyo left. So they played that really nicely. They managed to, th you know, they thought out the bomb plant, had a plateau plant for, for uh, Strux, and then they just got out. Bungled everything. They defeated themselves. Nice flash around the corner for Shox and Kyo. So he'll pick up one on taps, and now Shox, he's just gonna fall back, and on the way out, they spot one more, but do they go back in for more? Shox thinks about it. Penta, they think better of it as well. They'll fall back and regroup, reconvene. Bomb's heading over toward B, so they'll try their hand. We haven't actually seen them go for much of a B take, aside from splits from mid. I mean, we've noticed how those haven't worked out. Happy through the edge of the smoke, he finds crystal, so another gap in that smoke definitely needs to be addressed. Yeah, and with that information that Envy has gotten now, you can see MBK rotating up towards B. All he has to do is not die here. And they can get Stavi in position, but Stugs needs to be out and aggressive. Does take, take down MBK. That allows the bomb to get in position. That goes down. They lose that battle. And the round's over here as well, but instead they have a chance to smoke off. Doorway, spots out, Shox gets one, traded immediately, and now Strugs just has to hold. Again, it's a one-on-one -on -one battle. Last time we saw what happened, this time Happy gets inside the site, but Penta, the dream is dead. It's gonna be 11-1. Yeah, the 16 now dream is dead for Envious, and I, I I totally understand what MVK wants to do. Obviously, if he denies the bomb plant, then that's massive for them. But they could have easily just played it safe, and MVK could have sat outside window not done a single thing and they could have done the retake 3v2 and would have had a great shot of taking that round but i guess he got a kind of you know a bit greedy went for the denial of the bomb just to i don't know i'm not sure why you'd want to deny the bomb because it's not like it's going to matter in the economic specter of things for for penta in that situation but yeah so they win the exchange at long it's body that takes down trouble leap but that only evens us back MBK, though, he's holding on the first box. Does catch Strugs. Stavi, he tries to come inside the site. Can't. Now he's stuck inside the smoke. Has to find his way back inside the tunnel. Still a man advantage now for Envy. And that quick rotation gives up a little bit of positioning on middle. But it's a shuffle out from Happy with the op to watch it. Instead, although that smoke would have covered him off, he would have only been able to shoot through the top right corner of it. And it's another missed shot from Crystal. That allows Shocks to come back down and they can fan this defense out. Full control passively of the CT side of the map. There'll be nowhere to go, although Stavi, he thinks he can make something out of this. He'll take down Shoxy with the headshot. And it's back to B, they head. Yeah, look at Body, though. Already going aggressive, and he's going to be able to catch up to Stavros here. Oh, no, Oh, actually... just missed him. Well, okay, Bomb goes down with Tabson on B, so... Stavros might be able to pick up a kill here if he opts to go for it. He might want to save the AK altogether, but... Yeah. Not, no hope for Penta picking up a second round in Rogue here, and he actually just drops down to suicide for some reason. He just makes his presence known by dropping that nade and then drops down three seconds later. So not really sure what the idea was there. And this is just comfortable now for Envious, no surprise. Oh, they're just having a field day. 
they can do no wrong at this point. And I mean, it's, well, it's a money. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. Even if Penta pick up two or three, it's not going to be enough, but it's a money bonus reset. So they go right back to pistols. The best they can hope for at this case with this crossfire. Although that entry, they come in with a good amount of numbers. They might be able to at least get a bomb plan out of this if they can find MBK. That's going to be the case. Although Happy aggressively back through the door. He's not going to allow that to happen. And that's it. The best they can hope for now is two rounds T side on Dust. Yeah, and I don't think it, it's going to be hard to try to twist this into a way that makes it possible for Penta com to come back into this. Especially with the way they've been losing rounds as well, because they've, they've lost a few rounds, you know, due to themselves. But Envious are also just playing really well. And, you know, for those who thought that having body in the team would maybe weaken them, that's not the case, at least not on, you know, at this occasion. Kiyoshima opening up the first body. He'll take the second, so great long control, and body again as a stand-in, 13 and 4 right now. Decent frag distribution, nice peek out from Happy. Takes down Tapson, and then he's not done there, and that's going to be it. 14-1 first half, Team Envious. On their map choice, Dust 2 looking solid, and it's not even a, I mean, body, there's no, there's no pressure on him at this point. It wouldn't even matter if he was having a poor game, it doesn't matter, they're so far ahead. Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, if he was having a poor game, it would have been more likely due to the fact that everybody else on Envious are just, just getting frags and he's not able to see people. <laughs> so... Well, he's definitely not having a poor game, though. Yeah, no, he's definitely doing his work. And again, aggression from Penta on their CT pistol here. And not gonna work out, though. <laughs> MVK picking up Stavros instantly from Catwalk. Probably does respond though, but look at Happy. He's already on that A bomb site and, well, the bomb is about to follow. And Happy, he has to turn around though because trouble he's come back through middle. So let's get the kill back the way of Penta's favor. Brings us back to three on three. Bomb now has to be careful of the Cat when they go for the planet long. It's also a lot longer to hold with these pistols. And with that shot coming up from Trouble, he taking down shocks, they give themselves a chance. It's only body that's left. So we talked about pressure, although it's 14-1. It's not a huge deal. This is a pressure situation in this individual round. He does get the first. He has to find the second. Bomb still ticking away. It's in his favor. He can just bait out Strugs, but Strugs, what a reaction Ooh. shot. Body hops up, and it's a one tap. A flick to the right, and Penta, they'll pick up their second. Not only that, they'll get the economy the advantage to start things off in halftime number two. Uh, I didn't see that from Strix's point of view, but looking at it from Body's point of view, Strix was not even aiming at him. Like, the model was aiming towards Goose, and then Body just died. <laughs> it was a pretty nuts reaction. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I would imagine so. So, okay, yeah. You know, 100% round increase for Penta already, so off to a strong start. And now they just have to do what they didn't manage to do on cash, which is win the follow around after picking up the pistol. But unsurprisingly, Envious is just completely bought up. And if they're going to do what they normally do on Antecos, they're going to do a sudden push out into mid here for a B split. Strugs lobs the nade out. Gets the flash in to blind them as well. And Kiyoshima doesn't care. He'll come around with the Tech 9. He was only partially blinded, so. Bails out his teammate in front of him, although Trouble he comes through and puts a tranquilizer in Body's back. So we need a body bag for him as Trouble he now sitting on the door. No, nothing, no smoke, nothing to prohibit his vision. Does manage to spot Shocks coming over, who was going to throw a Molotov out toward the tunnels. Instead, now it's all left to Kiyoshima, and he's already spotted. So Trouble he, he just bides his time. Patience is a virtue. Yeah, still a great round for Envious, though. They get a bomb plant, they get three kills. I mean, that was definitely worth it, and... Envy's being envious, I wouldn't be too surprised if we saw them buy up here. Now, it's not like it's a high risk reward situation. There's only reward really because they've got so many match, well I wouldn't say match points, but advantage points to work with. Yeah, and yeah, we're seeing a couple of pistols and some armor being picked up here. Yeah, actually everybody's going with armor eventually and they still have enough money to buy up next round. So this is just a completely safe investment from if you're envious. All you know, the worst case scenario, you do economic damage to, to Penta. You know, just a little bit of it. Well played from MBK. Forward of the flash, so... Savvy thought he was safe, he was not. And Troubly, though, he's gonna find shocks in return. That brings it right back to an even circumstance. Although that's gonna be cancelled out immediately. Kiyoshima... 
who gets the kill, and Kiyoshima wasn't done there. He finds another one before finally going down to Crystal, and it's all left to Happy. One on two situation, and as Tabson lurks up toward the platform, he realizes Happy's already there, so they have the bomb down. They don't really need to be going for these aggressive peaks. All they're doing is giving Happy a chance to do damage before he actually pops out and takes the fight against them. And... Tapson's slowly going to realize as he comes around the corner, in fact, Crystal's going to do it first, that he's backed his way into Goose, and they'll close out the round. Uh, and again, fairly good economic damage done by uh, by Envy. They managed to get three kills this time around as well. So, yeah, Penta managed to get an op on Crystal, so that's good. They do manage to re-equip everybody, but they're somewhat thin on nades. When you can look at Trouble Eats, only got a smoke grenade. And uh, Envious, they're going to be just fine putting on the pressure even more now. Happy again. Same spot we saw him at the start of the last round. Tries to pop forward to that smoke, but instead has to wait inside of it. Dink comes down, actually. That goes against Crystal. And Shox receives one as well. And Crystal, well, on the back of that nade, down to 1 HP. Happy tries to flash himself through, but actually isn't going to push. Just wants to prohibit anyone coming aggressively against him. And Troubly, unfortunately, falls down from the Happy spot. And it's slow passive play. Envious want up Catwalk right now. They have a chance to get it. Troubly is pretty much committed to holding on to the mid right now. All it would take is one smoke, and that's exactly what they've thrown to hold him in place. That weakens the A defense. As MBK's come out, he'll play the lurk right now, and the rest of them up Catwalk. They go. MBK, Troubly, they'll do battle, and now he realizes Catwalk's given up. He has to come over and hold because Crystal's the only player to cover off from Elbow, and he's on very low HP. One, as we mentioned. There's the shot. Trouble Lee makes the first one. Jumps up. Massive damage right now onto Shox as well. Body's going to go down and Crystal, he'll find Happy. So Penta, they managed to pull themselves back in an excellent retake and perfect support play from Trouble Lee from CT Spawn coming up the ramp. MBK does have the angle from Catwalk to his advantage and he comes around. Sprays manages to collect two, but he hasn't found the guy defusing. And unfortunately, that'll close the round. That would have been absolutely miraculous if he could have pulled that off. I started seeing, you know, the flashes of that being a 4K all of a sudden. As soon as he gets that second headshot, I was like, oh, is this really happening? Oh, uh, that could have been disastrous. That would have been time. highlight real play for the year right there. Oh, yeah. Absolutely crazy. But, yeah, troubling with this jumping shenanigans, you know, showing that, you know, it's not only the scout that you can jump around with. It does send Envy back to Anika, but then again... As we've mentioned several times, they do have such a big of a cushion that they're just completely happy just buying up pretty much every single round. Flashes through, smokes aggressive though, and Tapson's able to dodge all of those, so he'll pick up a double before finally they get one back into him, but Struggs does the same damage in return. A bomb's dropped, and that's crucial, because now it's up to Shocks with only the P250 to make something out of this. He's nowhere to be found though, he's coming up from middle. I think Trouble, he's realized this. So he watched his window. In fact, he didn't. He looked back toward the tunnels, took a heap of damage as a result. But Penta, they're continuing on with this momentum. So every round, all five so far on the CT side have gone in their favor. But guns are going to come back out for Envious now. Envious are able to do so much damage to, to Penta as well every single round. Doesn't matter what they've invested to it. <laughs> Already happy picking up Trouble there on the crossover. Yeah, and this is going to spread Penta really thin. So last time around, they managed to isolate Crystal and Stavros towards that long area. And now they don't have that rotation from CT spawn. But it doesn't seem like MVs even care about that. They just want to split B. We'll see if it works. So far, it's going to plan. Shox gets caught. They push forward. That's a really aggressive peek from Strugs, and it does not pay off. So B side open for business. It's only left to Stavi and Crystal. And Stavi's going to have Happy lurking, waiting for his position to be exposed. Although he may find MBK before that, that is going to be the case. Finally, Envious may find them. Cells picking up the elusive 15th round as Happy walks out. Stavi does go down. He hasn't moved, hasn't been able to escape that position, and it's going to be Crystal that's left in their hunting. Happy wants him. And it's going to be Happy hunting indeed if he can get around this corner and spot him up. Trajectory that nade wasn't spotted, so he doesn't realize he's fallen down long, but Shocks will get there. Blinded up, still spamming away, and he will get the shot. So opt down. Round finally one for Envious. Resets money bonus. Doesn't even matter. They're on match point. Yeah, and because of the economic damage they've done to, to Penta in every single round, you can see Penta already struggling, getting a 
pretty decent buy up. Like they have a severe lack of smokes, two famases, and not a lot to really hold envious off. So I'm, yeah, they're just gonna go for the aggressive play here. This is all or nothing. And body starts things off again. Crystal wants to try and find that shot on Happy. He knows he's waiting there, but meanwhile that boost at mid's gonna work. Taps in and will find shocks. Happy has to fall. 12 HP. Doesn't want to give up the op too soon. Because although I said the money bonus doesn't matter, they're on match point. It still means they'll have to wait longer to find the match itself as Struggs now comes back through the window and MBK's gonna get caught by that. So this does give the advantage back to Penta and very low HP for Happy, who could be completely segregated from his teammate right now. Strictly based on Trouble's position on the stairwell, and Struggs has already spotted up one, so... This is looking for rather grim right now for Envious, who are getting locked in position. Happy does land one, but unfortunately, Crystal, he's gonna collect both, and that's gonna make it 15-7. Super aggressive buy again, though, from Envy. Yeah, well, they know that they're so far ahead that they can just buy up every single round. They don't even care. I mean, they can easily win the game with Tech Nines. They've done it before, and they're so good with Pist. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely true. You can easily wrap things up. They're definitely not... I don't think they're as potent since the patch, even though it wasn't a major nerf to the Tech-9, but they're definitely not at this, the LC CZ level. Either way, they're still more than capable. Penta, though, they're going to start things off again. It shocks that goes down. Body... Trying to get some damage done in return, and he does. He finds Troubley. That's his second on the round, so now they've got the defense entirely divided. Bomb still in their favor, but they're looking back toward tunnels, and Kiyoshima might get caught out right now. He's not. He wins the exchange on Strugs. That's going to open up his sight, and Body, he's going to find more. Three in the round for him, and it's all left to Crystal. He's smoked out. They'll easily get this bomb plant down on B. Yeah, and <laughs> Crystal, not really a lot he can do here. Happy's already posted up behind the smoke and Kiyoshima's boost spot right now this is awesome they know he's over toward the A site he'll just sit and watch over the wall there won't be much expectation of this at all from Crystal and as he tries to land that shot yeah there's nothing he can really do at this point even if he goes yeah. pops out a little further look who's waiting it's happy to close it out 16-7 they get there in the end although dominant first half 14-1 Penta at least made it a little bit interesting but that's the first series win that we've had in this entire League so far, in fact.